Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to cover a pretty tricky topic. In this video, you know, I'm going to present a bunch of evidence and let you decide. I'm not going to make any conclusions for you. I understand that this is a controversial topic, but I'll try to be fair and just present the evidence and let you decide and let you come to your own conclusion. I know it's a divisive issue. Uh, people seem to feel very strongly one way or the other about this whole mask issue. And in this video, I'm going to present the evidence and let you decide if this is paving the way for the mark of the beast, which is described in the book of Revelation. Now, for those that don't know, in the book of Revelation, it talks about a mark that you must accept in order to buy or sell. Basically, a mark, a, some kind of token in your body that you must accept in order to participate in the economy. And I recently put out a viral tweet on this topic. And I, in my tweet, I say, hey, I think this issue is going to separate the wheat from the chaff. And I'm basically implying that this is paving the way towards the mark of the beast system. But let's go over the evidence and check it out. And you'll see, and you can decide what you think, you know, is this really where it's going or not? And I think the first thing we should cover is this patent right here. And this is, you know, the strangest thing about it, of course, is that it's, what's this W-O, I'm not sure what W-O stands for, but that's, you know, the number of it is 202666. And it's peculiar that this system would just happen to have that number. But, uh, so obviously that's a little bit alarming. That a, and what this is, is this is actually like a cryptocurrency system that would, connect to sensors on your body, some kind of biometrics that would, that would wirelessly communicate with a server. And by performing tasks, you would <laughs> basically earn money. So, you know, that sounds complicated or whatever, but basically if you want to boil this down, what it is, is it's basically turning real life into World of Warcraft, okay? So basically you run around and you do quests and then you earn money. And so basically, and that's all based on some kind of sensor that is either, and I read through the details of this article and it, it wasn't really clear if this was worn biometrics, something that you wear like a watch or like an Apple watch sort of thing, or is it something that you have to embed within your body? Now, I think the ultimate goal here, they don't say it, but I do believe the ultimate goal here is to embed it inside of your body. And I'll explain why. I mean, the main reason is really because it's the only, it's the best way to verify that it's actually yours. Because physical tokens can be traded around, other people could use them. It doesn't, you know, you, when you're using two factor authentication, you usually have like a password. And then the second thing you have is something you have, right? So something you know plus something you have. And something you have is not great because you can always give it to someone else, be like, hey, or take my token. But the problem is the Bible talks about how it must know that it's you, which is why it would have to be embedded because it, it's part of your body. Your physical body is, the, is your token, okay? It's embedded inside your body. So that's a more secure way to do it. So I'll, I'll just read this one line here. It talks about the cryptocurrency system communicatively coupled to the device of the user may verify if the body activity data satisfies one or more conditions set by the cryptocurrency system and award cryptocurrency to the user whose body activity data is verified. So, you know, they might want you to do 10 push-ups. Do 10 push-ups. Oh, great job. You get like $100 or whatever. You know, you basically do all these activities and the system rewards you. And it has a whole description. And I've kind of went over this a little bit. It's talked about all the various sensors that they would use to measure what your body is doing in order to mathematically determine you know did you satisfy the what this quest wanted you to do or what this task or job i call them quests because it's like a video game right so it's basically they're trying to set up world of warcraft in real life um so that's what that is and of course bill gates in the case i didn't show that you know this is microsoft of course behind this patent and of course bill gates has been publicly promoting this and he's talking about how we, this is his blog where he's talking about, we need to distribute this on a global scale to 7 billion people. So obviously the scope of this is, is global. 
like every country. And so they're going to need 7 billion vaccines, maybe 14 billion, depending on, you know, how many, if it's just going to be a multi-dose vaccine. And the interesting part is if you go to his account, this is Bill Gates right here. This is the Bill Gates on reddit.com. He's a Redditor. And I think it's important enough to read this comment. They're talking about the vaccine, basically. You know, it's talking about how it's tricky to determine which businesses to keep open. And he says, eventually, we will have, and he's certain, he says, we will have some digital certificates to show who has recovered or been tested recently. Or when we have a vaccine, who has received it. So, of course, at this point, you need a mask to go into so many businesses, right? And so they're going to say, hey, right now we know for a fact that if you don't have a mask, you cannot go into these businesses. You'll be arrested. You'll, you know, the store security will throw you out or, you know, you'll run into all kinds of problems if you decide that you don't want to do that. So basically what, what's going on right now is no mask, no service, right? And what Bill Gates is confirming is that eventually they're going to want to document i mean of course if they're shutting down everything and then they're saying we can't reopen the economy to normal unless you can prove that you've been vaccinated so you know you can't just go to the door and just tell them oh yeah yeah i've been i've been vaccinated you can trust me like that's not going to work so they're going to need some kind of uh, some kind of system, and maybe you could do that via a phone app, right? Some, some, something like that. Or, I mean, that, that would be one way they certainly could do it. They could be like, hey, you know, just here's my phone. It says I got it. It has a little check mark. Maybe you scan it at the scanner at the door or something like that, and that's the only way you get into the store. And there would have to be someone at the door checking that. That's one way they could do it. Or they could... If they're planning to go ahead and just put it inside of your body, that would be even easier because that, that way you would never lose it. Uh, it would be stored inside of you. And, you know, that, that would definitely be alarming for me, right? Because, hey, that's uh, the, the, the main thing about the mark of the beast is it has to be something that's injected into your body. So the, if we're really trying to figure out if this is paving the way for the mark of the beast, then it would, that's what it would have to be. It would have to be an injected. So that's something that we should look out for. And concurrently in the news, what's interesting is there's all these signs, right? So as a Christian, I'm looking for all these signs, you know, thinking, is this really it? Or is this, you know, or is this just an, a pandemic where, you know, we're just going to get a vaccine and boom, that's it. Crisis over. Everything goes back to normal. Everyone gets their vaccine. Literally nothing happens. Everything's fine. And, you know, it wasn't the mark of the beast. But I'm looking at the news and there's all these signs. You know, they're saying, hey, now there's a coin shortage because of, because of COVID-19. And we're going to have to, you know, the headline says, yes, there's a national coin shortage. Here's why. So if they keep pushing this as well, you know, they could easily justify going cashless because money is a great way to transfer all kinds of germs and disease. In fact, I'm surprised that we haven't seen that pushed. So that's something that I think we should definitely watch, watch out for going forward. If this continues to escalate, then we'll know. Well, I wouldn't say we'll know, but it would be, it would point to the fact that this is moving towards a system towards a cashless society because that is another requirement. And this is just simply a sign on a store. You've probably seen, perhaps you've seen this at a store yourself, talking about a coin shortage because of coronavirus. Um, and, you know, this, deb this article debunks it, talking about how, you know, patent application 666 is not a big deal. And what it says here, I'll read it, it says it is true. They do have that patent for a system which rewards physical activity with cryptocurrency, but it is... It does not reference injectable microchips, and that's true. So, the, so I guess the question is something that we have to watch for and be vigilant about: is will it steer towards that? Is that going to change? And they're going to be like, "Oh, guess what? If they come out and they say, guess what? You have to get this vaccine. 
and by the way it's tied to uh some kind of some kind of chip or stored or some some kind of transponder that communicates with a centralized database and gets your vaccination records probably from cell towers i would guess um uh, well then that then we would definitely have to be concerned about this and start thinking yeah this this must be the mark of the beast i mean it's talking about an injectable that verifies that you have basically submitted to this system right in order to buy or sell another headline that i found interesting in the news is not made on this earth top secret pentagon ufo task force reportedly expected to reveal some findings so the reason i find this interesting is because i have often thought that the antichrist would be revealed as an alien and the reason i find that compelling is it kind of matches up with the story of how jesus was revealed he was a human but he was not want like us he was like from another world another spiritual world right so i could easily see how the antichrist would actually be revealed as someone from outer space like he's someone that just transcends us he's from another world he's advanced um we're amazed by him he's going to do all these miracles that we can't understand so i find that really interesting that this happens in 2020 along with all of this other covid stuff and a coin shortage and oh by the way here's 666 implantable cryptocurrency system with this cashless society and by the way we're going to need digital certificates to verify you have it so it seems like they're moving on a lot of fronts at once and that's why i found this interesting it wouldn't be surprising to me because I, I know that the popular culture really hypes outer space all the science fiction and you know I mean, I mean, yeah, if I believed it, I, I thought I would find it. I mean, it is pretty interesting. I used, to, I used to believe in it. I used to think, we, you know, one day we would have contact with aliens. And I could easily see them taking that excitement and using it to reveal the Antichrist. And I think people would submit to that. And I think across the spectrum, you would see people be like, yes, I'm bowing to the Antichrist because he's from outer space. That's just my speculation. But, you know, I could easily see that happening. So that's just an interesting tidbit. And now what I'd like to do is I would like to dive into a few relevant verses and kind of tie in those news articles to why I feel it is relevant. Because I know a lot of people, most people have not read the book of Revelation, but I'll just hit up the most relevant verses. Try not to fall asleep. I understand most people just conk out when they see Bible verses. But I think it's important and highly relevant to this topic. So hang in there. So in Revelation 13, 13, <laughs> Revelation 13, there, it's, there's a, if you read that chapter 13, it's all about the Antichrist and how he's revealed and all the things that he does and what he does and what he sets up. And it says here, he doeth the great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So that kind of ties into this UFO thing. Maybe he's an alien and maybe he performs all these miracles because he's an alien. He's blowing people's minds and, you know, no one can understand how it's possible. So there, you have to remember that when the Antichrist comes, people are going to worship him as God. They're going to, he, he will be the, the God. He will be the new religion. And in the very next verse, it talks about how he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live so basically he's going to perform all these miracles and just amaze people and then people will worship this image right and this is the a very famous verse where it talks about how he sets up his power over the entire earth. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. For those that don't know, saints are believers in the Bible. When it says saints, it's always talking about believers every time. And to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And you know, people often think that the Bible is going to end with one world government 
and one world, you know, one language, one government. It doesn't necessarily say that. It just says that he's going to have power over, he even says here, nations. So it's, it could be multiple nations in the end game. Multiple kindreds, multiple tongues. He's going to have power over all of that. So I don't think you necessarily need only one nation left, like in the last days when the Antichrist comes. But he will have power over all of them. And, of course, he's going to make war with Christians and Christians only. Well, it doesn't say that, but it does say he will make war with Christians, for sure. Maybe there will be others that he doesn't like. Perhaps. But it, that's my interpretation. I think it will only be Christians, personally. And, of course, there's a very famous verse talking about the mark of the beast. It talks about, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six which is six 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 and of course that matches up with what that patent number is does it mean that the patent number is automatically the mark of the beast no but you have to understand that numbers are really important to these people you know they love their six six sixes they love their 33s they they love letters that convert into those things like if you actually do a reverse cipher on National Aeronautics and Space Administration, it actually adds up to 666. I mean, there, there, there's, there's all kinds of things you can dive into that are just insane that have to do with numbers and because and, they'd like to communicate through symbols and numbers because that's... They want to put the information out there, but they don't. They were like, like they like to spiritually confess things and let the world know about these things. But it's, it's kind of like a calling card, right? Like a criminal does something and then he leaves his calling card. It's the same idea. They like to reference certain numbers or certain things that have inside meaning to certain people. Um, so you know, maybe they just happen to make sure they hey make sure make this picture this patent number is six 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 just because we think that's funny or maybe we just want to troll Christians or whatever. I mean, that's the kind of stuff they're into. Um, let's actually go to this verse first, because this is actually first. He causeth all, both great, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And the reason for that is you, you have one or the other. Normally, you're going to want it in your hand. But if you don't have hands, you're going to get it in your forehead, right? Makes sense. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So 2,000 years ago, they're predicting you're going to be tied into a database. And if you're not in that database, and you don't have the digital token that Bill Gates is talking about, then you're not going to be able to buy and sell. So this is the connection to the mask, and how the mask is could be, could be, you decide. I believe it is. It could be the social conditioning in order to make you accept when they say, hey, if you don't have this digital uh, certificate verifying that you got a vaccine, then you're not going to be able to participate in the economy. And you're like, oh, you can just go to Amazon. Well, you know, they could actually end up enforcing that through websites as well, because most shopping is done at like <laughs> a handful of websites. So they could shut down all kinds of a very high percentage of the economy very quickly just simply by adding in some kind of scanner like hey you got to go buy this scanner or some kind of scanner in order to do any kind of online purchase because this is going to be the new digital economy you're going to have to go ahead and scan to make sure that it's really you and it's because of security and verifies that it's you it's part of authentication and two-form factor you know two-factor authentication it's going to make you know, everything much more secure. It'll be sold, you know, using all those same, which, which is true. It is more secure. I mean, it's not a lie. And just some more verses talking about it, talking about the mark. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, uh, it's basically talking about there are severe punishments. This is why if I... So I'm going to keep my eye on this topic because I'm not 100%. I'm like 98% sure this is paving the way for the mark of the beast. 
And I'm not happy about that. I have a great sense of dread about that. It means I'm going to have to lose my job in all likelihood. I, I won't know how to pay my bills anymore. Um, so I'm not really excited that this is going on. This is like terrible. I wish things would just go back to normal. Um, and I don't want to be a pain in the butt to like my employers or whatever. Like, hey, I'd like to participate in this. But for religious reasons, I wouldn't be able to participate in this because of verses like this one. Let's say, if you take this mark, it says right here, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Basically talking about you will, you're going to hell. If you, if you take, if you make this deal and you, uh, participate in this B system, then that is a surefire sign that you are not a true uh, believer, is what it's saying. It's saying that it is impossible for a true believer in, in Christ to accept and, and become part of this system. Because you are showing some, and maybe that's not clear right now how that could be. But I'm saying be vigilant and see how this unfolds in the news. See how, what they reveal and when they reveal it. Because it's going to get crazier and crazier. I don't think this thing is dialing back anytime soon. You, you think 2020 is crazy? It's going to get crazier. I, I don't think it's done being crazy. It's going to get crazier and crazier. And I, I know a lot of people think, a lot of people out there think, oh, after the election, everything will stop. This is just to create a bunch of chaos before the election. I don't think that's true. That's all the evidence I have, guys. I, I hope that made some sense. It was, I know it was kind of all over the place, but it, it's kind of a tough topic for me to tackle just because there's so much, and I understand that a lot of it is speculative and kind of connecting dots between data points that don't, aren't necessarily 100% clear. For example, they're not really saying, hey, we're going to inject this right into you. They're, it's, they're not going to come out and say that because they, they know it sounds crazy. but they're, you know, they're turning up the heat. They're saying, hey, we're going to, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to have a digital, digital certificate in order to participate in the economy, in order to re-enter the economy, basically using prison language. So what do you think? You think this is it, guys? It's, I mean, I'm sure many of you will disagree with me on this, but I'm interested in what your comments are, your thoughts. Am I way off base? Do you think I'm right on the money? Let me know. You know, am I missing some details here? I'm always looking to improve and looking for data that perhaps I'm, I know I'm only one perspective. Maybe I don't have all the data. Maybe I, there's something I haven't considered. Personally, like I said, I think 98% or so, I'm, I'm very convinced that that's this, where this is going. And I'm not happy about it. Anyhow, see you guys next video.